Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for tuning in to Om Stars Live. Today's class is going to be all about the Ashtanga Yoga Method. I'm super excited to be celebrating our one year anniversary with this live class free and open to all. Let's get started with the traditional Ashtanga Yoga opening prayer, which we'll do from seated today. So come to a comfortable seated position, close your eyes, bring your hands together. One day Guru Nam Charana Da Vinde Sanda Dushita Swatma Sukava Bode Nishreya Se Jangali Kayamane Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantye Abahu Purushakaram Shanka Chakra Siddharinam Sahasra Shirasam Shwetam Pranamami Patam Jalim Keep your eyes closed for a moment and let your hands rest down to any comfortable position. Tune into your pelvic floor and begin activating the pelvic floor. Do that by engaging the muscles of the perineum, the muscles which control the anus, the muscles which control your genitals and the urinary tract. And let this be like a gentle hello to your pelvic floor. So you just say, hello, my pelvic floor. If you could come on up into the pelvis, that would be great. And then to the muscles of the low belly, maybe take a hand and place them right on the low belly and just let them come in. Let this knit together to form the root of the breath. <clears throat> and now begin that resonant breath with sound. Let your eyes now open towards the tip of the nose and maintain that deep resonant breath. Keep breathing as deeply and powerfully as possible, drawing inside the low belly on each inhalation and on each exhalation. The Ashtanga method is built on three prongs. The posture, we're in a seated position, which counts as your asana. The drishti, as you're gazing towards the tip of the nose to concentrate and calm and direct the senses internal. And finally, the breath. With deep, resonant breathing, you're able to calm the nervous system and control your state of arousal, linking the conscious and the subconscious mind. Feel the energetic shift of the inner body as you begin to deepen your breath. As we move into the asana practice today in the Ashtanga method, you'll notice that it's hard to keep the resonance of the breath even and calmly paced throughout the practice. Try anyway. It's important that inhalation and exhalation are even to each other and that every asana maintains the balance between shtira and sukha, strength and grace or effort and surrender. We find this in Patanjali's Yoga Sutras as the definition of asana, shtiram sukham asanam. Keep this as your intention to find that perfect balance between strength and grace, effort and surrender so that in that narrow road of truth, You'll be able to feel the inner body, the true self, and ultimately open yourself up to the direct revelation of the highest truth. With that as the seat of our practice today and the seed really of your intention, come on up to standing. We'll start off in Samasthitihi. Slowly find your way up to Samasthitihi and take a moment and if you have your hair down, this is a good opportunity to put your hair up because we're going to be moving through we're going to be moving through the practice. Stand with the bases of the big toes together. 
and start to reconnect into the pelvic floor as your pelvic floor lifts up along the center line. Soften the arms and avoid too much activation in Samasthiti. Just let yourself kind of be here. Give a little shake through the shoulders. And then again, gaze rests towards the tip of the nose. Feel the energy of your body sort of pulsing from within. A strong activation of your pelvic floor and orient under the skin towards the center line. Find that resonant breath. And from this place, let's begin Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, A come, the first breath. Raise your hands above the head, gazing towards the thumbs. Dwe, exhale, suck your belly in as you fold forward, drawing the belly in, softening the neck. Trainee, inhale, lifting the chest forward as you draw the belly in. And Shatwari, gazing towards the nose as you step back, holding plank position for a moment as you lower down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Pancha, inhale, let's roll forward to upward facing, gazing towards the nose, and shut, exhale, downward facing. We'll hold this downward facing dog for five breaths, soften the neck, draw the belly in, open the shoulders. You may notice that your own pace of breathing is a little faster or slower than mine. That's all right, go at your own natural pace, but try to deepen your breath as much as possible. Keep the belly in, your thighs are active and firm, dropping your attention into the inner body. Let this be your motivation. You can gaze towards the navel. You probably won't see it, but you can look in that direction, which might let your gaze rest around the knees. Let's switch the gaze forward, big push up into the shoulders and Sapta, inhale, easy, walk your feet forward between the hands, sending the chest up and forward. Ashto, exhale, fold forward, crown of the head towards the ground. Nava, inhale, let's stand all the way up, pressing your palms together, looking up to the thumbs, Samas, Titihi, hands by your side. Again, A, come inhale, Rise up through the center line, belly in. Ndue, exhale, pivot from the hips as you fold forward, gently down. Trini, inhale, send your chest forward, keeping the belly deeply in. Chatwari, soft bend in the knees, press into the shoulders, and roll through the plank position and all the way down to Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, sending your chest up and forward, upward facing dog, shut, exhale, downward facing dog. Feet are about hips width apart, hands shoulder width apart, shoulders open, deep breathing. Keep a mind calm, internally focused. The sun salutations awaken that inner fire, the heat, so allow a heating sensation to arise through the body. This heat, sometimes called Agni, is the purification method. So you'll notice that your body gets purified or heated up from the inside out. The legs are firm. Spread the toes lightly. Keep the weight evenly distributed between the hands and the feet. And even if your heels aren't pressing into the ground, just let them be very weighted and heavy as though they're reaching towards the ground. Keep your breath deep and full and switch the gaze forward, come up onto the balls of your feet and press into the shoulders. Sapta, inhale, walk your feet forward, sending the chest forward. And Ashto, exhale, fold forward, go down, nice and easy. Nava, inhale, gaze towards the thumbs, as you raise the arms, exhale, samasthiti. Shake it out for a moment there as the belly draws in. Tune in and ask yourself if you're ready for a little extra challenge. 
this is the basic form of sun salutation A. If that was accessible for you, instead of walking forward and back, now let's try to jump forward and back. We don't need to make it a gymnastic event. We're not here to do handstands. We're here to practice today. And when you jump forward and jump back, it's just about getting that little bit more of a spark of fire. You know that moment if you're trying to light a match? If you, if you strike it um, firmly, that's when the match kind of lights up. So we want to strike the match a little bit with the jump, but not too much, because just in the same way as lighting a match, if you do it too hard, you know, you're going to break the match and you don't want to break your body. So we'll, we'll take it easy and just do some light jumps. Here we go. A, come inhale, rise up through the center line. And the way, exhale, suck the belly in, pivot into the hip joints as you lower down. Trini, inhale, send the chest forward, and let's prepare for our light jump by making sure your hands are totally flat, stabilizing the shoulders, activating the pelvic floor, transfer a little weight into your hands, and jump easy back through plank to chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing, shut, exhale, downward facing. Take a moment, you can just kind of reclaim your peaceful center and always tune into that alignment of hands shoulder width apart feet hips width apart and again deepen your breath deep steady pace of inhalation and exhalation keep your mind present if the mind tends to go away for a moment just bring it right back mind is gone bring it back check the alignment of the body and keep yourself focused on that balance between effort and surrender. So you don't want to do too much effort, otherwise you'll block the body and create struggle. You don't want to do too little effort, otherwise you won't be practicing. At the same time, tune into the heart center and feel that connection into grace, that connection into the infinite, that connection into effortlessness. Switching the gaze forward. If you're ready to jump forward, let's bring the feet together. Start to push up into the shoulders, bend the knees lightly, and you want to spot right where you're looking. So you're looking between the hands and Sapta. Inhale, jump forward, jump into a bent knee position, straighten the legs, expand the chest, and Ashto. Exhale, fold forward, go down. Nava. Inhale, rise up through the center line, samasthitihi, good. All right, let's, let's do that again. A, come, inhale, rise up, feel the legs, ndue, exhale, belly sucks in, fold forward and down. Trini, inhale, send the chest forward. Here we go, chatwari, hands flat, jump back and chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, press into the hands, gaze towards the nose, shut, exhale, downward facing. Take a moment, settle in, five breaths, feel that inner heat. And deep, steady breathing. Bring the mind back into presence, the simplicity of the sun salutations. No need to look for something extraordinary. Find the extraordinariness and the ordinariness of this motion. The sun salutations like an old friend that you continually return to, moving deeper in your understanding and moving infinitely in towards that inner state, almost as though there's really no end to the learning that's possible. And let's switch the gaze forward, press up into the shoulders, soft bend in your knees. Remember, you're going to jump your feet right between the hands. Septa, inhale, jump forward, straighten the legs and expand your chest. Ashto, exhale, fold forward. Nava, inhale, rise up through the center line. Reach up, samasthitihi. Okay, last one. You should be feeling an internal fire. A, come, inhale, rise all the way up. 
and away. Exhale, fold forward, keeping the belly in as you go down. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Pancha, inhale. Shut, exhale. Nice and easy. Five steady breaths. So the sun salutations ignite that solar fire. The heat gets turned on. You could think about heating sensations. Instead of, you know, just running away from the heat, the yoga practice teaches you to kind of lean into it. So when you reach feelings of discomfort, discomfort that puts your body in no risk of injury, so if you're just hot and it's annoying, see if you can just kind of melt into it, like lean into it, kind of really get to know the feeling of annoyance. So if you're thinking, I'm hot, this is hot, I'm sweating, I don't like to sweat. Just kind of see if you can be very aware and present with the sensation of heat. Be aware of the molecules of sweat, the droplets of sweat as they accumulate on the body. And just lean into the sensation, making it neither good nor bad. And just really, really be present to it. Use the vehicle of the breath to keep the mind rooted deeply within, so we lean in, do not avoid. Good, switch your gaze forward, soft bend in the knees, activate the pelvic floor, and set the inhale, push into your shoulders as you jump forward, expand the chest. Ashto, exhale, fold forward, go down. Nava, inhale, rise up, through the center line, samasthiti. Good, check that out for a moment. Now we're gonna move on to Surya Namaskar B, which adds a little bit more complexity. The B variation, as we move into more complexity, that means more fire. So if you've been feeling like the body's heating up or you've already noticed yourself sweating, I've got some bad news for you. That means you're gonna sweat a little bit more right now. So mm, we just have to accept that. Now, Shanga, it's not advised that you drink at the first moment that you feel sweaty because you're putting out the fire. So if we lit the match and that fire starts to burn within, the idea is that you really just want to kind of let the fire smolder a little bit within. So let's, uh, let's see if we can turn up the flames a little bit in Sun Salutation B. Starting in Samasthitihi, drop the belly in, bend the knees from the hip joints, and then raise your arms. Now you start to feel your quadriceps, gently with your eyes gazing up towards the thumbs, then exhale, fold your chest onto your thighs, straighten your legs, drop the head down, fold forward. Trini, inhale, chest forward, belly in. Soft bend in the knees, chatwari. Exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shut, exhale, downward facing. Now this time, instead of staying here for five breaths, we're gonna step forward to warrior one. We'll do that by first rotating the left foot out, turning the left hip about 45 degrees externally. Glide that right foot forward in between your hands. Push into your left leg and then inhale. Sup the rise up to warrior one. Look up at the thumbs. Ashto, exhale, belly in. Take your hands down, roll forward into the shoulders, pivot the left foot forward, step back and chaturanga. Nava, inhale, upward facing. Dasha, exhale, downward facing. Left side. So you start the left side, you actually start off with the right foot. So turn the right foot out, dropping the right hip into that little external rotation. Step the left foot forward, root into the legs. Ekhadasha, inhale, rise up through the center line, gaze at the thumbs. Dwadasha, exhale, take your hands back to the ground, roll that right foot forward, step back to plank, and chaturanga. Trayogdisha, inhale, upward facing. Chikturdisha, exhale, downward facing. Alrighty, now I get to settle in for five breaths. Deep, resonant breathing. So in downward facing dog, you wanna avoid two things. Avoid being too rounded, all up here like this. And then second thing, avoid being too flexible. So we're not trying to do the puppy pose where you're really releasing the shoulders. You want to be right in between where you got a little power 
and you feel the hips reaching back and up. And you find that the spine releases out of the pelvis. Deep, resonant breath keeps you turned inward. We're almost there. Settle in for a moment. If you feel like you want to run away or you want it to be over, just pause, breathe. And let's switch the gaze forward. Here we go. Soft bend in the knees. Panchadesha. Inhale, jump forward. Straighten the legs and lift your chest. Shodesha. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees. Saptadesha. Inhale, pull the hip joints back. Raise your hands, press the palms. Samasthitihi. Good. Okay. Now, <laughs> seems like having a little microphone ponytail. Let's see if I can hug that in a little. <laughs> All right, we're going to do more of these. We got two more, okay? Um, the first one we took a little slowly, so now I'd like to see if it's possible for us to just evenly syncopate the breath with the movement. So this means that when we're in downward dog, we step forward to warrior one, do it on one long inhalation. And when you flow down to chaturanga, one long inhalation. All right. I'm counting the breaths for you in the traditional Sanskrit, which now we'll go through a little bit more succinctly in this round of Surya We got two more. All right. Belly in. You can do it. Sink into the hips. A come inhale. Doe exhale. Fold forward and down. Trini inhale. Chatwari exhale. Jump back. Chaturanga. Pancha. Inhale. Shut. Exhale. Sapta. Inhale. Right side. One long. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what happens in life, huh? One long breath. All the way up. Raising your hands. And ash. So exhale. All the way down. Chaturanga. Nava, inhale, dasha, exhale. E, kadisha, inhale, left side, come forward, all the way up, raise your hands. Dwadisha, exhale, belly in, lower all the way down, chaturanga. Dayogdisha, inhale, gaze at the nose. Chikturadisha, exhale, downward facing. Good, all right. So, in the yoga practice, it says that you meet obstacles. Obstacles are in the mind, the body, the environment. And when you meet them, you have to sort of just watch them and observe them. And then the fire of purification burns them up, so be aware. Keep the mind steady. Let that internal fire really start to turn on with your deep resonant breath. Every fire needs oxygen, so breathe deeply. Keep the mind internally focused. Belly sucks in. Deep activation of your pelvic floor. Good. Now press up into the shoulders. Here we go. Panchadisha. Inhale. Jump. And send the chest forward. Shodisha. Exhale. Fold. Belly in. Soft bend in the knees. Saptadisha. Inhale. Pull the hip joints back. And samasthiti. Very good. Shake that out. Now let's do the last one. E come. Inhale. Bend the knees. Arms up. The way, exhale, fold forward and down. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Jump back, Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale. Shut, exhale. Sapta, inhale, right side. Come on forward, all the way up. Warrior one, ah, exhale, all the way down. Sava, inhale, dasha, exhale. Ekadisha, inhale, left side, come on up. 
Dwarisha. Exhale. Go down. Yogdisha. Inhale. Jiktuvadisha. Exhale. All right, let's settle in. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. One more. And five. Press into the shoulders, feet together, soft bend in the knees. Panchadisha, inhale. Send the chest forward. Chodisha, exhale. Fold. Bend your knees. Saptadisha, inhale. Press the palms, belly in. Samasthitihi. Good. Come on back to standing. And, and come on back to standing. Just shake that out for a moment. Keep the belly in. Feel your heartbeat. Tune in. The sun salutations awaken that inner solar fire. The fire begins as Agni and turns eventually into the clear light of knowledge. All right, this is called Jnana Diptir, the lamp of knowledge. Now, let's open the feet so that we're hips width apart. We're gonna begin the standing poses, so draw the belly in. As you draw the belly in, activate the pelvic floor and then pivot from the hips Fold forward, reach down and hold on to your big toes. If you need to do a soft bend in the knees to hold the toes, that's okay. Straighten the legs if possible. A come inhale, send your chest forward. Dwe exhale, enter the posture, Padangusthasana, dropping your head, relaxing the shoulders, gaze towards the nose, pivoting slightly forward. Keep the belly sucked as deeply in as possible. Let your mind rest. Deep, steady breathing, activating your thighs. Practice with no goal, no competition, not with yourself, not with anyone else. And Trini, inhale. Lift the chest, moving your gaze slightly forward. And soft bend in the knees if you need to. Hands underneath your feet for Padahastasana. A, come inhale, send the chest forward, gazing towards the nose. And Dwe, exhale, fold forward again. You'll notice that your weight wants to be in the heels, but then see if you can just suck the belly in a little bit, gazing at the nose and tip the weight just that little bit forward. You'll notice a deepening of that stretch through the hamstrings, through the butt muscles, through the deep muscles that control the hip joints, and just feel those little micro movements in the hips, and then stabilize, deep breathing, gaze towards the nose, hold it there for a moment, belly keeps sucking in, no matter how much you think the belly is sucked in, just do it a little more, deep breath, very good. And Trini, inhale, look slightly forward, shift the chest forward, exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, and release the hands, come on all the way up, feet together, samasthitihi, good. Next standing pose is the triangle pose, A, come inhale, step out to the right, and parallel your feet, spreading your arms, good. Turn the right foot out, aligning the right heel with the left arch. And this is Utita Trikonasana A on the right side. Activate the legs. And Dwe, exhale, reach down, finding your shin bone, and either staying here or gliding down to hold on to your big toe. Or you can also place a block on the outside of your foot. Figure out which level is accessible for you for today and work there. The posture is here, not as a pass or fail test but as a doorway into a deep and subtle inner experience. With your gaze, look towards the left fingers. Keep the belly sucking in, deep breathing. The standing postures bring foundation, deep healing in the body. And let's stay here for one more breath. Keep the mind nice and calm. Just keep pressing into the legs. Good. And soften the neck. Trini, inhale, come up. 
Turn the right foot in, left foot out, switch your gaze. Drop the belly in and chatwari. Exhale, pull into the left hip joint. Soften the gaze and either reaching towards the shin or a block. Reach down and then gaze upwards towards the right fingers. Now, I'm getting a little bit sweaty. I would imagine you are too. Keep the legs real active and the belly sucking in. The gaze is up towards the right toes. Soft neck. Deep breathing, keep the legs real firm and make sure not to kind of dump weight into the back of your left knee. Instead, reach out through the base of your left big toe. Nice big breath, one more. Soften the neck, I'd like to look down at the left hand. Pancha, inhale, come up, spread your arms and let's turn all the way towards the back. Trikonasana B, take a moment, square the hips, you're gonna lead forward with your left hand. And then slowly, Dwe, exhale, facilitate the forward fold and you can take your fingers on the floor on the inside, on top of your foot, or eventually on the outside and flattening the hand. Cross the center line and raise your right arm up. Belly sucks in, figure out which hand position works for you today. Really keep the legs active, soft neck, reach with the sternum. And more important than anything, just take a moment and stabilize the posture. Let yourself find that shtira, that strength, that steadiness, and then surrender the posture. Turn it over, whatever it is, it is. It's beyond your control. We can only put in the work, your work, and then let everything else go. This posture is a little harder than the last one, so take a moment here, again, soft neck, reach with the right arm, and switch the gaze down, drop the right hand. Trini, inhale, come up, spread your arms, square off, and left side. Now square the hips forward, lead with your right hand, and then here we go, chatwari, exhale, facilitate the forward fold, and either your right fingers on the floor on the inside, on top of your foot, or on the outside of your foot. If you're on the outside of the foot, see if it may be possible to flatten the hand down, drop your left hip back, spiral through the whole body and raising the left arm up. The standing poses are very healing, bringing a sense of grounding. So if you find yourself feeling imbalanced, the standing postures give you a deep sense of balance as you really just tune into the pelvic floor into the inner body, holding them for a long time, really strengthens and tones the whole body, stabilizes the mind, deep breathing. Good. Pancha, inhale, thrust into your legs, come up, spread your arms, reach. And soft arms return to samasthiti. Shake that out for a moment, get that Connection back into the pelvic floor. And the next posture is the extended side angle. So here we go. A, come inhale, take a very wide step out to the side about the distance of one of your own legs length or maybe even longer than that, depending on how long your legs are. My legs are not that long. If you're blessed with really long legs, you're gonna find the distance that's right for you. So it's just a wide, relatively wide stance. Take your arms out to the side and let's prepare. Turn the right foot out, aligning the right heel with the left arch. And then slowly, the way, exhale, bend the right knee over the ankle. The belly sucks in. The first option, hook your forearm on the right thigh and then extend the left arm. Root down into your pelvic floor as you keep the belly deeply in, everything in. And then slowly glide your right hand, the fingertips on the floor on the outside. Hold it there for a moment. And then slowly flatten the right hand once that's accessible for you. Hold it there, nice and steady, gazing at the left fingers, belly in. Keep the belly sucking in. Root into the left foot and into the left heel. Almost there. And good, drop the left hand and then in. Rise up, square off to the front and let's do the other side. Left hip rolls externally. And chatwari, exhale, hooking the forearm, rolling forward is your first option. Once it's accessible, slide down on the outside, flattening the palm, and eventually gazing towards the right fingers. Stabilize, activate the pelvic floor, 
deep, steady breathing. Roll your right shoulder down. So avoid kind of winging the shoulder out and think shoulder down. Armpit towards the chin. Belly sucks in. Almost there. Calm the mind. Good. Pancha. Inhale. Come up. Spread your arms. The next posture is very hard. So let's do this one easy. Parswakonasana B. Turn and face the right side. Exhale. Place your left knee on the ground. As the belly drops in, exhale. Fold your torso all the way around the right side. Slowly and calmly prepare. If you can't reach down, grab a block. Place your left hand on a block and slowly extend the right arm, rolling through that shoulder drop. So your shoulder drops down and then push that right knee forward to come off the ground. We'll stay for a couple breaths. Challenge your balance a little bit here. Mind is nice and calm. Reach back with your left leg and if you lose your balance, left knee on the ground, all is good. Deep, steady breathing. Keep the core pulled in, almost there. And five, drop the knee down, drop the right shoulder down. Train the inhale, come all the way up. Chatwari, exhale. The other side, come down. Roll over another option. If you can't reach the ground, you don't have a block, is just to stay here and really just fold through the center line. So if you just keep folding around, eventually you'll get there. Once your hand reaches to the ground, keep dropping the left hip. Extend the left arm, gazing towards the left fingers. Get your gaze established first. Activate the pelvic floor. Send the left knee forward and the right leg back. And just keep spiraling through the center line. Deep breathing. Calm the mind. Tune into the inner body. Soft neck. Your gaze directs your energy. If you lose your balance, right knee down. We're almost there. One more breath. Good. Drop your gaze and your shoulder. And pancha. Inhale. Come up. Samasthiti. Let's come on back up to the front. Good. Are you feeling a little toasty? I'm getting a little toasty over here. <laughs> I'm feeling those little beads of sweat really starting to come out. That's really good sweat when you work for it. And then you start to feel it really kind of coming from the internal space, then you know there's a deep purification going on. All right, now let's step out to the side and hands on your waist. Prasarita, Padottanasana A, wide leg forward bend. Take a moment, make sure your feet are parallel. Draw the belly in as you inhale, feel your center line. The way exhale, take your hands on the ground. And then again, inhale, straighten the arms, gaze forward. And Trini, exhale, fold forward. Top of the head down or slowly lean forward. You can leave your hands lined up with your feet or if it's more comfortable for you, I usually like to move my hands forward. That's really only if you're already relatively flexible. If your head is not on the ground, so if you're up here, just relax and keep thinking about hips spiraling back and up and lean forward. And one day your head will get towards the ground. Deep breathing. Belly in, keep it real active. Mind is steady, calm, internally focused. Pull those shoulders back, draw the elbows towards each other, keep gazing towards the nose tip. All right, here we go. Chatwari, inhale, send the chest forward, straighten the arms, exhale. Squeeze your pelvic floor, keep your gaze on the ground. Pancha, inhale, come up. And exhale. Good. B position. A come. Inhale. Spread your arms. Dwe. Exhale. Hands onto your waist. Again, inhale. Suck the belly in. And Trini. Exhale. Fold forward. Relax the neck and lean forward. Once your head is on the ground, you can press your weight into your head. Gaze at the nose tip. Five breaths. Mind is calm. Activate your legs. Steady breathing. Don't be in a rush. For a moment, just be very present. So you have nothing 
else to do that matters, nowhere to go, just be here in a state of presence, in a state of acceptance, a very pure and internally focused state. Let's do one more breath, gaze towards the nose. Good. Chatwari, inhale, come all the way up, nice and slow. So if you're a little dizzy, you probably came up too quickly. Make sure you gaze down as you come up, otherwise the gaze uh, can actually destabilize you a little bit. All right, we got two more. A, come inhale, spread your arms. Ndwe, exhale, interlock fingers behind the back, roll the shoulders forward, pop your chest ever so slightly. Again, inhale, gaze towards the nose. Trini, exhale, tuck the head under. Once your head reaches to the ground, just lean forward with the shoulders. Avoid squeezing. So if you find yourself like white knuckling your fingers, soft. Then instead of pinching the shoulders together, roll the shoulders forward and let that forward motion kind of drop the shoulders down. That's an internal rotation of the shoulders. Just let the shoulders drop. The belly is in and you lean forward. A little bit of weight towards the top of the head, but at the same time, you feel a lift through your pelvic floor so that the pelvic floor moves up and so that that's totally safe to just transfer that little bit of weight forward. Legs are firm, gaze towards the nose. Breath is deep, so remember that deep breath. Good, activate your pelvic floor and Shatwari, inhale, shift back and up. Slowly come all the way up and exhale. Last one, hands on your waist, the D position. A, come inhale, rise up through the center line, keep your hands on your waist. And the way, exhale, pivot from the waist, fold forward, go down, lift those toes up, hold on to your big toes. Again, inhale, send the chest forward, gaze towards the nose, sitting bones up. Trini, exhale, top of the head down and fold. Mind is calm. Again, internal focus. Think about sliding the hips forward. Stay steady breathing, gaze towards the nose. Nice and easy. Calm the mind, internal focus. Let all the thoughts go. Whenever your mind goes away, you notice yourself thinking a judgmental thought. Just allow yourself to come back into your center. Back into the center. And Shotwari, inhale, lift the head up and look slightly forward. Exhale. Pancha, inhale, thrust into the legs, come on all the way up, hands to your waist, drop the heat. good, let's shake that out, it's a lot of work for the legs, especially the backs of the knees, we've got one more of the standing poses, so there are a few options for this one, you can hold on to your elbows, or you can take your hands in prayer position behind your back, let's see if I can do that, there we go, so once your hands are in prayer position behind the back, Slowly, Parjabhotanasana, A, come inhale, step out to the side. This is sometimes also called the pyramid pose. Align the right heel with the left arch, belly sucks in, align the sternum with the right knee, deep inhalation, and dwe, exhale, fold forward, gently down. Strong legs, and again, avoid dumping weight into the back of your right knee. Instead, really energize that whole right leg, pressing the hands into each other. And you can gaze either towards your nose, or if it's accessible for you, all the way towards your right toes. Deep breathing. Keep the belly sucked in and in. Good, thrust into your right leg, Trini, inhale, come up. Let's turn and face the front side, belly in, calm the mind, and Chatwari, exhale, fold gently forward. Now your sternum lines up with your left knee. If it's accessible for you, roll the shoulders forward, lift the elbows slightly, heels of the hands press. Calm the mind, root your attention deeply within. Keep pressing a little bit forward into your left leg, almost there. Gaze towards the nose, 
or forward towards your toes, depending on where you are. Belly in, here we go. Bansha, inhale, come up, release your hands, spread them wide. Samasthidihi, all the way back to standing.